And mistakes I've made a few But then again Nothing we can't sort out on a canvas <laughs> Yes, it's that time Hello my fantastic friends and coin collectors It's me, Master Temple Everybody's happy, everybody's great The sun is shining But today we're going to do a nice, fantastic little painting That I hope you'll enjoy So don't forget to like and subscribe So we can carry on doing what we're doing this one's called A Mountain of Mistakes. And it's an oil painting. And there's a few mistakes in there that we can rectify. So we can learn from this. Now, I'm hitting the canvas here with a fan brush with some white paint. And the canvas has been painted in black gesso. And I've allowed that to dry completely. And then over the top, I've covered it in a thin, even layer of thalo blue. So we'll get a variation of colours between the whites and the blues and this is a sky we're going to do like a nighttime sort of dusky scene and like I've said before there's a few mistakes that we can rectify in this one so so we're, we're learning as we go along and if I get a chance I'm going to try and answer some questions that get get thrown my way my way <laughs> okay so with that all on the canvas big clean dry brush and we're just going to blend this very gently not really hitting the canvas just just very lightly tickling and diffusing the light part of the clouds and we can do this as, as often as we like as often as we like and like I said before this is oil painting and because the paint underneath is is wet the canvas is wet we can we can blend and we can smudge and we can we can play as often as we like so I just touched a bit of crimson here and there so just to, to vary the sky so it doesn't look a couple of different colors up here in the sky that one there is a, a little bit of a little bit of brown I've, I've picked up and we just smush that in and then blend that out again so we've got a couple of different colored clouds up there as well you're going to have to forgive the autofocus. I'm still learning. We're still learning. Now, first question comes from perf Perfect Fairy. <laughs> Purple Fairy. She is perfect. Purple Fairy asks, am I self-taught? Or did I go to art school or college? Well, yes, I, I am self-taught. I failed art. And I, when, when I left school, I failed art. And I decided to pick up a paintbrush, watch Bob Ross painting shows, and... And from then on, I just self-taught myself, which is the best way, you know, in a, in a real way. And just pick up, have a go, and learn from your mistakes. And that's what this painting is sort of about. So thank you, Purple Fairy, for that uh, nice question. Now, on the paint knife, as you can see, I've, I've cut in a little dark colour, and I've, I've painted the back of a mountain. And with a big dry brush, we're, we're pulling that paint and creating what would be highlights and shadows where the highlights and shadows will be just like so just like so then we're going to come come across and we're going to put some highlights on this now I don't want it to be a, a white and light blue um, color as I would as I would always get in a, in a normal mountain scene I want this to have some some variants looks like some some big rocks up here some big rocks so we're just taking a little cut of paint on the palette knife and just thinking about the angles just like so now RJ coins he's uh, he's left me a nice comment saying he's bought his wife um, a, a kit a painting kit for for a birthday and what would I suggest um, to paint first well that all depends on your style whether you like florals or whether you like still life or or nature like like i like i paint it all depends on your own individual style but uh a couple of videos ago i just did a monotone video with just a couple of colors i would try and aim for something like that and then work off that and then add more colors and then add more different techniques so so but it's all about practice do what you like and practice practice it practice it practice it now what I've done here on the opposite side of the mountain I've just come in with a bit of red and we've done some we've done some shadows 
and this is what happens I'm pushing too hard now with a knife rather than let it float down the, the side of the mountain so it makes it look like icing on a cake and trying to rectify that by adding a different colour like titanium white kinda kinda works but does it I don't know we should see we shall see we shall see what coins have you guys been finding because we are we do do coin coiny stuff as well from time to time what coins uh, do you like to find in your change I found some absolutely belting 50p's lately and of course a couple of good two quids I'm always interested to know what other people are finding out there happy days happy days so Trev from coins to collect I love Trev he's an absolutely brilliant man and uh, I've, I've had the pleasure of meeting him and, and playing around a crazy golf with a with a guy absolutely fantastic and uh, he says uh, I'd love love me to paint the northern lights would I be able to paint the northern lights well it's it's something Trev that I've never done before ever but it's it's on the cards my friend it's on the cards um, I'm gonna have to grab a couple of practice shots now you can see I've made a complete mess of that mountain and ah so what I've done is just come in with a palette knife and I've scraped off easy peasy yeah you make a mistake you can just scrape off and then we can just come back in here and start again that's all we need to do just bear in mind every time you scrape this uh, this paint off your mountain will grow a little bit <laughs> but we don't mind we don't mind so yes Trev I will do the northern lights just watch this space watch this space so again just putting in a bit more dark color here and there with a palette knife and a couple of peaks umps and bumps umps and bumps Dennis Fitzpatrick one of one of my regular um, folk that comment on the videos is he's, he's asked me what what is the heaviest fish I've ever caught and uh, this is in because of the fishing painting we did not so long back and I go fishing with, with me with my family and uh, and what's the heaviest fish I've ever caught well I've caught a 22 pound pike out at River Air just out here and uh, I've caught some big cod but nothing massive nothing nothing to write home about I took everything back you see I don't <laughs> I've 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 had a few mackerel in my time that I've caught off a off a off a piers, but but other than that everything goes back. Right, so what we're doing now, a little bit of brown, burnt umber mixed with a bit of white, and we're delicately this time delicately touching the canvas, hardly making any effort to paint now. Nice and easy, just gently do it gently. all you need to do so Mecca Moolah he asked did I go to go to college and I think I've answered this in uh, per, perfect fairies purple fairies fairy dusts uh, question no I didn't go to art college I went to engineering college but I didn't go to art college as I said I, I, I failed art at GCSE level and I just decided to pick up a paintbrush one day and uh, and give this a go and and 25 years later I'm still doing it and it's uh, it's wonderful I enjoy it every day every time I pick up a paintbrush I enjoy it you can lose yourself like reading a good book I suppose so now we are going back to the blues like I didn't want to in the original set out of the painting but that's the way it happens sometimes isn't it we don't know what we're gonna do until we're actually doing it on this canvas Judas is asking me if uh, I remember the first thing I ever painted. I think mm, that's a very good question. Painting with oil paints, or painting in general, or painting. Yeah, it must be a scene like this, you know. Um, possibly, possibly a little lake 
if I if I if I remember correctly, and that was in watercolor. And watercolor is such an hard medium to to do. Um, you've got to spend some good time and some 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 practice on some paper, some good quality paper before before letting yourself loose on on proper paintings. Um, but yeah, I think it was a little lake. Um, and I'm sure there was like a little mountain in the background, but it it didn't have no highlights or shadows. It just one big brush stroke, similar to the to the brown painting we, we we did not so long back. So I think that may have been the or one of the first. I also tried to paint um, the sand dunes uh, on a beach in Norfolk once when I was young, um, and I have got that painting somewhere. I might try and dig that out and uh, let you see what it's like, and then maybe try and do a um, a painting now see see the difference yeah uh, Andrew Green has asked me is Keith any good at painting well that's an amazing question I don't know <laughs> he's good at keeping coins to one side for me uh, but but the next time I go up there I uh, I will uh, I will ask him if he's good at painting I might even give him a painting eventually because he's such a nice chap and he's uh, he goes out of his way sometimes to help the master so tapping the bottom of this picture now, just tapping down into the where I've put some some white colour, just to diffu diffuse the bottom and let's have some mist and fog down there, and then from that, still with the fan brush now, we're just touching a tiny bit of blues and whites, just a dirty fan brush from the sky, you see. So, and all we're doing is putting some some little little forests. Foothill, foothill, I can never say that. I'm going to have to come up with a different word. But um, little hills at the bottom of this this uh, this mountain, and paying close attention to the angles of the mountain as well. So vary the colour every now and again, like I've done there. I've, I've touched a little darker colour, and we're just letting the brush play. That's it. Just let the brush play. Just let the brush play. There we go. There we go. Now, Coin Fountain has asked me, do I ever paint animals? Well, animals and people are kind of difficult in in a way that if you get something, if you get something wrong, um, you can tell instantly if somebody's eyes are in the wrong place or if they've got a different colour hair to what the you know fur. Or if they've got paws that are too big, when you're painting, you know, scenery like I do, it doesn't matter. Trees and mountains and lakes and waterfalls and everything else comes in in all different shapes and sizes. But, 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 but animals and people are, are kind of perfect in a way. You would know instantly if something something was wrong, if you don't get it right. So, uh, and, and the time it would take to paint a a person or an animal it can take weeks and like I say oil paints take forever to dry anyway so so that's why they can go keep going back and and tinkering with the with the masterpieces but 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 no I've, I've never I, I have done and I made a complete mess of it and, and I thought to myself I'm gonna just stick to painting our paint because animals and and figures although they're good I, I just goof up half of the time and uh, that doesn't do any good for your for your self confidence. So stick to what you're good at. That's what that's what I got got told. Stick to what you're good at. So Steve Ufton's asked me how long have I been coin collecting, and that's a fantastic question because I've, my grandfather he he was a coin collector or started coin collecting, and he used to buy the you know five pound bunk packs for me and and and, and my brothers. Um, and tried to get me into coin collecting, but I didn't really pay much attention to it, you know, being young and 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 foolish, and coins were just for spending on toys and things like that. But but um, I've only really seriously took taken coin collecting uh, seriously taken to coin collecting since I started watching Christopher Collector's videos, and I think I was around. I remember Christopher's 500 subscriber giveaway, and I entered that, and. That's that's that just took it a little bit more seriously since then, and and it's fantastic little pastime, and you're always saving money as well, unless you're spending fortune on on coins. But um, 
you know, if you're saving stuff that you find in your change, it's, it's, it's fantastic little RV, and and uh, and yeah, I, I, I've uh, I've a lot to uh, um, thank Christopher for 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 introducing me to this RV, and obviously getting get, giving me the inspiration to give this a go as well. Absolutely, happy days, yeah. So two two years, I think, Steve is is the is the short answer to that. <laughs> I know I waffle on a little bit. Down at bottom here on this canvas, I've just just brushed in some some white, just following the angles, flattening the uh, the plane out now, so it looks like a little bit of a plane. And I'm I'm coming back in here, here and there. Now now and again, I'm just touching with a little bit of of green paint. So it's the dirty fan brush that we painted the sky with. I'm just hitting sap green now and touching. And if the paint is not sticking, I'll I'll touch a little bit of paint thinner into the paint and I'm just shaping the land as I'm going along and we're going to come back in here now I'm going to put some th some stones in the foreground some baby mountains some baby mountains now if I don't answer all the questions today it's, it's not because I don't want to answer them I'll, I will do at some point it's just time is uh, time is not with us unfortunately but yeah we're just shaping in another little tiny little mountain and it'll push everything back give it a little bit more distance a little bit of highlight and a little bit of shadow so my advice is, is just make friends with the equipment the knives the the brushes the paint and try different things try different techniques try different different uh, mediums uh, different papers canvases just try it all and uh, and then pick what your your strong points are and then go with it and and then work on that that's 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 what you can do there we go so we put a little bump in the foreground there. Let's give him a friend. There we go. This this could be where the snow leopard lives. Now Nick Thomas has asked me if I uh, I've had any thoughts on an underground, or sorry, an underwater scene. And that's just similar to Trev's. It's something I've questioned. It's something similar to Trev's question. It's something I've never I've never really thought of. Or, or, you know, but it's it's something that would be quite nice to do um, I, I would not know how to go about composing an underwater scene what would you paint a, a, a galleon perhaps or uh, you know a sunken piece of treasure um, fish I don't know um, but it's something I've I've never done uh, I've never done but I might do I might do I never painted the the coin tuba verse before but I've done that a few times so so um, yeah, it's something on the cards, Nick. Yeah, great, great question. And again, here we go in. Just a little bit of light blue mixed with it's, it's just white and thalo blue. Thalo blue is nice, warm blue. It's a happy blue. If you were to use Prussian blue, it'd be a little bit darker, a little bit blacker. There we go. Happy day. So just tiny bit of white now, just just to really highlight that edge on the knife. And again, when you have a lot of time, and uh, you could play around for hours with this, you could really make it your own. And again, show me what you're doing. It it really is nice to see what people are creating. It really is nice on Facebook and and Instagram. Yeah, just a little bit down here, a little bit of snow, but that's somewhere to ski. <laughs> bit on this side. So again, that's just white, and if it picks up any of the colour, they end end up being shadows. It's happy days all round. We can work with anything. We can do anything. Masters is about masters of his own destiny. I keep saying sometimes. 
There we go. Bit more greenery down here. And again we're just tapping in, paying close attention to to the angle of the mountain, of the hill. Just like so. Nicely does it. Nicely does it. Tiny little lift up. What that do is make it look like tiny little evergreen trees far away. I'm not going to put any big trees in front of this mountain this time. It's it's uh, it's not needed. It's not needed. It's just a nice delicate little painting of a big old mountain. Just like so. How are you finding it so far? Just diffuse the sky. Must have had a last minute thought. Bit of a diffusion in the sky there. There we go. There we go. So coin wise, let me know what you've got coin wise, what you've been finding. Let me know if you're having a go at painting. It really would make my day if you could send me a picture or two. Not physically, just on, <laughs> you know, just online. And if you've got any questions you want me to try and answer, I'll endeavour to answer anything as long as it's in, re uh, in reason. <laughs> I don't want no crazy barn pot uh, questions, I tell thee. Great, let's sign this one. Down in bottom left corner. Really thin red paint. I just initial this. Well, I do sign the back of the paintings, but I just initial it. My name's quite long, so I can't uh, I fill the bottom of the canvas up if I to write my old name on there. Happy days. So do remember, like and subscribe. Till next time, see you all later. Happy days.